if sin a equals to 3 by 5 cos b equals to minus 12 by 13 show that sin of a plus b equals to minus 56 by 65 where a and b lie in the same quadrant a and b lie in the same quadrant we have been given sin a cos b we have to show that sin of a plus b is minus 56 by 65 now sin a is 3 by 5 that means sin is positive and cos b is minus 12 by 13 that means cos is negative now we need to find out the quadrant in which sin is positive and cos is negative for that let's draw all the quadrants first quadrant second quadrant third quadrant fourth quadrant all silver teacups a in the first quadrant all are positive in the second quadrant sin and cosecant are positive third quadrant tangent and cot are positive fourth quadrant cos is positive now we have sin positive and cos negative that happens only in the second quadrant that means a and b both are in second quadrant so let's draw the triangles for them first we'll draw for a then we will draw for b given to us sin a is 3 by 5 so we have 3 by 5 by Pythagoras theorem we know left out is 4 similarly cos b is minus 12 by 13 and by Pythagoras theorem we know missing is 5 since we know that sin a is 3 by 5 cos a will be negative so I'll just put minus there now we have taken care that both a and b are in second quadrant hope you understood that if 5 3 4 are positive then a is in first quadrant Similarly, if 13, 5, 12 all are positive, then B is in first quadrant. Since we are in second quadrant where sin is positive and cos is negative, we have to take, tweak the sign so that we have here minus, so that we have cos A is minus 4 by 5 and sin A is 3 by 5. Similarly, cos B is minus 12 by 13 and sin B equals to 5 by 13. Once we are able to do this, we are done with the problem. So we can just go ahead and write down the formula. We need to find out sin of a plus b. The formula for that is sin a into cos b plus cos a into sin b. What is sin a? 3 by 5 multiply with cos b that is minus 12 by 13 plus cos a that is minus 4 by 5 multiply with sin b which is 5 by 13 let us simplify that we will have minus 36 by 65 minus 20 by 65 which will simplify to minus 56 divided by 65 which we need to proof so the most important thing is to understand this in 10th class we are limited to only first quadrant where sin cos tan all of them are positive because the angles are between 0 to 90 degrees now we are talking about four quadrants 0 to 90 90 to 180 180 to 270 270 to 360 or if you want to say them in radians 0 pi by 2 pi 3 pi by 2 again back 2 pi so in the first quadrant all of them are positive second quadrant only sine and cosecant are positive third quadrant tan and cot cos is positive in fourth quadrant so we have to remember this quadrant table all silver teacups that's how ours are told as when I was studying intermediate not sure whether it holds good real you know but you can remember that four quadrants 
Now we have been given sin a is 3 by 5, cos b is minus 12 by 13. So we know that a and b are both in same quadrant. That means it should be second quadrant because sin is positive and cos is negative. So second quadrant, so we have cos a as minus 4 by 5 and sin b is 5 by 13. Substituting the values, we get sin of a plus b equals to minus 56 by 65.